Thank you, Walt. Now to the Olympics. Clearwater's Bobby Fink has returned home from Tokyo with two gold medals. Yeah, the long distance swimmer is the first American man to win the 1500 meter freestyle race since the 1984 Games in Los Angeles. He also took home gold in the 800 meter race. News Channel 8's Justin Shecker just caught up with Fink. He joins us live from a welcome home party at North Shore Aquatic Complex in St. Pete. Justin, these were two of the most exciting races in the Olympics so far, in my opinion. They certainly were, Jen and Keith. And the first question I asked Bobby Fink was, how does it feel to have two gold medals around your neck? And they feel pretty heavy, you know. This, uh, these past couple days have been pretty overwhelming, but, you know, it's been a lot of fun and really exciting to be here and see all my friends, family, and fans, and especially my coach again. You know, he's been with me this whole, this whole process. Dozens of young swimmers who look up to Bobby Fink lined up for a chance to meet Tampa Bay's two-time gold medalist. You know, I just hope to inspire them to join the team, work hard, trust the coaches. That's really the biggest message I have is really trust the coaches. Carolyn Drinker brought her twin six-year-old boys who've taken swim lessons with one of Fink's older sisters. Uh, they love to swim, and um, they wanted to get their special swimsuit so they could swim fast like Bobby. Fink told Eight on Your Side his college season competing for the Florida Gators helped prepare him for Tokyo. During college, we couldn't have any spectators. It was just the athletes. But even then, it was still really loud. And the fastest swimmer in the men's 1500 and 800 meter freestyle races described the pride of standing on the podium during the playing of the national anthem. It felt on top of the world, you know, honestly, you know, it, they, being able to just stand up there, hand on the heart and just standing, staring at the flag, saying the words, it is a huge, massive dream come true. I, I don't think I ever thought I'd win like an Olympic gold medal. And the 21-year-old two-time gold medalist says he hopes to represent his country again at the Paris Olympics in 2024. And he hinted at another goal of making Team USA in 2028 when the Summer Games return to the United States in Los Angeles. We're live in St. Petersburg. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.